what's going on everybody this is sammy like here representing team davis i'm here to give you guys coverage for tribeca 2022 this is the film called trigger this was um directed by tara westward um westwood actually is also one of the stars in this movie it's got isaiah whitlock jr um it's got caitlin um minner uh robert burke and um the funny thing is that tara and robert um they play parents that all of a sudden are dealing with a home invasion situation that they never suspected could ever happen to them in this in this type of situation um Tara in the way that she directs this is very specific and it is triggered in pointing to the gun violence that is plaguing the United States um, in so many different respects, trying to angle it in this short film that's less than 19 minutes roughly to make real serious implications about it. I saw a film um, maybe last year called Mass. It only involved like four people one of the best films I've ever seen. But one of the things about that that film um, is the fact that when they started to go about what happened um, with the two children and how one, you know, was using the gun and how the other one was scared and running and was the victim, how this is a lose-lose situation in one way, shape, or form, but the specifics behind the dread and the terror and the trauma that befalled not just the individuals in the situation, but the families as a whole. Um, this movie exemplifies the families as a whole um, because um, uh, Isaiah Whitlock and Caitlin, they are, their children in this situation are the victims. And it is really raw. Um, it's is is very well acted in certain places specifically from Isaiah I think is easily one of his best but even Tara like um the role they kind of put her in as a parent and as a senator um she is giving a lot um to because a lot of it is from exposition of things that she's done or people have done Sometimes the exposition is a little bit overlong and I think it doesn't work in certain stance because it kind of comes off as a little too much preachy or too much information driven. But then when it starts to unravel and you start to get the consequences of actions and, and the repercussions of certain actions, that's when it starts to really start to bleed into somewhere. And you don't know at a certain point, you really don't know where this movie is going to end. I think the moment that you see two individuals have to kneel on their on their knees um, you really have no idea where the movie's gonna go from this point. And as a short, I think that they definitely succeed to driving the point home in a short amount of time. They did all they hit all the check marks. Like cinematography worked from the close up shots, um, the acting prowess and the way that it was delivered, the the backdrop was really interesting. Even down to there was a certain moment where um Caitlin's character looks into a certain door and see something and the, the, they focus and hone in on it so personal and yet at the same time so um i don't know so ominously darkly toned um score is pretty good um i'm trying to think of one thing that i can say without spoiling too much but the scenario of the story in and of itself is not something that we haven't seen before necessarily but the way that they execute this is very fast and i feel like if this was like maybe a 40 minute I, I honestly i really wish this was a full movie because i would have loved to see flashbacks like i wish they like the way they start this it starts off almost perfect but it would have been amazing if you have like an immediate flashback of showing a certain scenario how it goes or another scenario so how it goes but i think the reason why tara did it this way is because she wanted to drive home the you can show all the different things but to drive home the importance of it is the central focus but from a narrative standpoint from a film standpoint from an entertainment standpoint i think spacing it out as a film or allowing it to breathe a little bit longer or show like a semblance of a certain moment would have left so much of a lasting impression on the long term of this 
Um, but it's, it's a good short film. I rest this at a seven out of 10. Um, definitely think that it's very informative, very important. Again, certain moments from acting standpoint are kind of over long. And I think that they're long winded, a little preacher here, there, but it's very important, very vital. And the things that are going on in our nation right now, specifically need to, this, these things need to be addressed. Um, it's just the consequence of these actions. I think that the last time I seen something like this really was, um, Watchmen with a certain, uh, certain things that they did in Watchmen remind me of how big of a consequence this movie tries to take. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Um, thank you so much again for Tribeca for allowing us to be able to cover set film and we have a lot more coming. Take care, guys. Keep it locked. JVS Wing and Stop. Peace, everybody. Mm -hmm.